What's going on, you guys? Mr. Allen here. About to work with some transformations of radical functions. All right, now the great thing about transformations is they all kind of work the same when you're putting them into an equation. Whether we have a quadratic, a uh, radical in this case, a cubic function, they all kind of look the same. Okay, so we can think the same thought process with any other transformations you've worked with. So first one here, we have a vertical reflection, right? We're going to write the new function. So we'll call it g of x. How about that? Let's call it g of x. We have a vertical reflection. So that's going to be a negative located outside of the function, outside the square root. So I'm going to have negative, then a square root. we got to go to the right 4. Now on the inside, we got to think opposite. So it's not going to be x plus 4. It's going to be x minus 4. And then we have down 3, outside. Cool to think normally we got minus 3 on the outside. And there's ways to show that. I'm not going to show that in this video as to why it's opposite on the inside of the function. Another video, okay? All right, next one, part B here. We have a vertical compression by two-thirds, a horizontal reflection, and up seven. Let's call this one h of x. So we have a vertical compression by two-thirds. That two-thirds needs to be out front then, right? Outside of the function. When I say outside the function, I mean outside of the square root. Since this is a radical function, that square root, that's what we're talking about with our function. All right. Then we got a horizontal reflection. That means I'm going to have a negative x on the inside of that function. It's going to be a horizontal reflection. It's going to go this way. It could be a reflection over the y-axis would be another way of wording that. And then I got up 7, so plus 7 on the outside. Excelente. Right, I'm going to switch markers because I just want a different color. All right. Now we got um, K, H, I. I'm not going to use I. J, we could do J, K. I don't know. Let's go. You know what? I'm going to go with K. Okay. So let's call it K of X. I feel like sometimes I and J look a little weird for functions. You know, even though my name is James, right? So kind of like J, but I'm not going to use it. All right. Horizontal compression by one fourth. So one fourth, it's going to be, at, well, hold up. Horizontal compression, horizontal. We got to think a little differently with horizontal. All right, so if it's a horizontal compression by one fourth, the number you're actually going to see on the inside of the function is going to be reciprocal of that, which is four. So the square root of four x, okay? That is a horizontal compression by one fourth. On the inside, it needs to be the reciprocal of that. We're talking compressions or stretches. Again, we could show that, but not for this video. Up two would be plus two on the outside, no big deal. And we got one more. Um, let's go with L of X, right? H-I-J-K-L of X equals. We got vertical stretch by a factor of eight and a horizontal stretch by a factor of three. So it's going to be eight on the outside, but then on the inside, we have a horizontal stretch by three. That's going to be one third on the inside times X. We got to do the reciprocal of that. Woo! Dang. Four dope problems. Lots of transformations. I mean... This transformed into a fantastic video. So like and subscribe, dogs, and spread the word. Mr. Math. I'm right. I'm done plugging myself. See ya.